Location sponsorship generously provided by Eric's Church Bar and Grill with karaoke every Thursday night at 7 until 10. And Champion Sports Bar with karaoke Sunday, Monday, and Thursday nights, 9 till close, and Wednesday nights, 10 till close. Welcome back, Maine Karaoke Idol. This is episode four. This is night two of our cut week. We have a whole crop. Thank you, thank you. We have a whole crop of uh, new contestants tonight, so we'd like to thank them for showing up, at least. That's step one. Step two, you gotta be able to sing a little bit. So we'd also like to thank our good people at Champions Bar in Biddeford, Maine. Let's hear it for them. Uh, they'll be open until what time tonight? One o'clock. One o'clock. Every night. So if you want to meet us there and go over the show, I think the owner would really appreciate it. Yes. Uh, we'd also like to thank again our uh, very talented palette of judges. Who, dare I say, may be better looking than they are talented. We got my good friend, oh, yeah. Melvin Gratis. <laughs> Clap. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Guys, we're live here. Let's, uh, let's wake up a little bit. Karen. One of Maine's most influential women, who I would say is probably the most influential after I met her, so. Aww. Was that good? Thank yeah, you. yeah, 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 all right. <laughs> Clap it up. And the wild card of the group, the dirty dog, Kelly Lawrence, give it up. <laughs> so if you watched last night, I said that we were gonna uh, announce who was cut from last night, but we changed our minds, you know. This is our first time doing this as well, so we're gonna wait until tonight. Make sure you vote again. And we're gonna announce Friday who's gonna make it to next week. So, little twist, but I think it's gonna work out better. So, um, on that note, I think we're gonna start with our first uh, contestant. Rocking the Moxie hat, my good friend, Zarek. Hello, my name's Eric Z. I've been singing karaoke for a long time, over 30 years. And I sing now a lot at Champion Sports Bar in Bitterford. And uh, tonight I'm gonna sing uh, the song I've Gotta Get a Message to You by the Bee Gees. I've always uh, enjoyed singing BG songs.
feedback. Hot mic. Hot mic. How's it feel to be the first one of the night? little mame in my headphone. Bleeding from the ears over here. Thank you. You felt good though? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Well, what, let's go to the judges and, and we'll see what they thought. We're going to start with Melvin right here. He's the first one. Melvin is his name. Definitely appreciate that. Eric, thank you so much for being here. I really I did not expect such a sweet voice to come out of you. And I really appreciated the song choice you did as well. I caught myself lost hearing when those harmonies met with your voice. That was a nice mix. So I definitely appreciated that. Thank you. And I'm loving your quintessential main style, the moxie hat and the flannel shirt. Thank you, you look great. Great voice, great feel from the heart. Could use a little more diaphragm. You got a lot of you got great words. You got a big presence. You got to push it out from inside instead of all up here. But it was it was you were right on. Right, Love you. Moxie as well. Appreciate it. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Let's hear it again for Eric. <laughs> we're gonna keep it going here. Next up. Hi, I'm Heather. I am representing Champion Sports Bar. I'm singing the song Valerie tonight by Amy Winehouse, and I chose it because it's fun and upbeat, and that's what we're here to do tonight. Since I come on home, well, my body's been a mess, and I've been stretching. Heather. Hello. I'm Jake. Not Brittany. Not Brittany. <laughs> well, how'd you feel after I messed your name up? Well, that was so fun. Oh, good. How'd you feel singing? I was having fun. 
You were having fun. You looked like you were having fun. Let's see what the judges thought. I definitely agree. I, I loved how relaxed and how you were showing fun, and I, I felt the fun. And I loved how you didn't waver with pitch or anything, even when the monitor started soft. That didn't slow you down one bit. Thank you. Yeah. And I loved your style and stage presence and you, the way you really got into it, as Melvin said. I think you did a great job, great choice of song. Thank you. Thanks. Spectacular. Did you hear that? I appreciate it. We like that. And it's all about adapt and adjust. Someone gives you uh, the wrong name, <laughs> the, the sound isn't quite where it was, and you still crushed it. So thanks again, Heather. Give it up for Heather. <laughs> We're moving along here. We're having fun. We have our next, next contestant over there, just ready to rock. Hi, I'm Rachel. Um, I'm here representing Champion Sports Bar. Um, I'm from Kennebunk, Maine. I live there with my partner and our 14-month-old son. And tonight I'll be doing Give Me One Reason by Tracy Chapman. I've always loved singing this song. Um, it makes me feel really good. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it.
Let's hear it for Rachel. Rachel. Getting down with her bad self up here. How'd you feel? Good, yeah. I felt a little shaky in the beginning, but... You came out of it. Yeah. You came right out of your show. Thanks. And we like that here. Right, crowd? <laughs> well, they seem to love it, so let's see what Melvin has to say. Melvin, take it away. Yeah, well, that was great. I really enjoyed the way your voice matched with that song. Your timbre with that whole song was... It was a very smart choice. It sounded... I closed my eyes and really enjoyed that, so thank you. Thank you. And I loved your facial expressions and your peppiness. You took charge of the stage. Um, I really enjoyed it. And you seem smiling, like you just were really into it. So keep that up and you'll go far. Sweet and sexy, very comfortable with the camera, having fun, laughing, very comfortable, very convincing of the story. Tracy's got nothing on you. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I felt the same way. All right, thank you. Let's hear it again for Rachel. Oh, here, let me. Uh... Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back after this quick commercial break. Join Luigi every Friday night at 9 till 11, Friday p.m. Guests, music, excitement. It's all the fun you can have on a Friday night, and it's live. Friday p.m., live every Friday night, 9 to 11, pmcwatch.com, cable channel 5, Portland, Maine. And we're back from commercial break. Uh, we're going to do a little special treat for you guys. Uh, all these singers are from the same bar, the same karaoke bar. So we're going to let them do a little uh, medley together. So give it up for uh, champions, the champions oh. bar team, we're going to call them. All right? Here we go. I time after time. Taking my vows, my curtain calls. You brought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with it. I thank you all, but it's been no better roses, no pleasure cruise. I consider a challenge before the human race, and I never lose. Oh. 
of the world. All right, give me my mic back. Let's hear it. Hi, everyone. My name is Frank, a.k.a. The Silver Fox. Um, the song I'm going to do for you tonight will be uh, ACDC, It's a Lonely Top. I enjoy the song. I hope you do, too. If it wasn't for champions, I wouldn't be uh, singing karaoke. The great people that, that support uh, new singers, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be singing today. Riding down the highway, going to a show, stopping on the byway, playing rock and roll, getting robbed, getting stoned, getting beat up, broken bones. Hotel, motel, make you want to cry. Ladies do the hot sell, know the reason why. Getting old, getting gray, getting ripped off, underpaid, getting sold.
That's what I do. I feel like a rock star. Elvis wish he had moves like me. <laughs> Judges, what do we have? I love the energy. Can't lie about that. That that was fun. And that ACDC, the front men they had, some of the most iconic voices. So there was moments where I, I did hear you capture some of that. And I love the air guitar, I gotta say. <laughs> Thank you. Great job, Frank. All that went through my head is you have secured a place for yourself in rock and roll history. I, that's what I feel like. Yes. Bon Scott, incarnate, born to be wild. Great energy, great fun. <laughs> singing out of champs and uh, I'm gonna be doing some jelly roll tonight a song called need a favor um, kind of hits home for me uh, it's about God and stuff like that uh, hope everyone enjoys it uh -huh. Judges, see what you guys thought about Mike. Mike, I'm gonna give you the mic so you can. Mike, I'm gonna give you the mic so you can uh, respond to the judges. Thank you. All right, Big Mike. I, I think that was a perfect choice for your voice and that song. 
I gotta say, like, I, it, it felt you did a really good job with the performance where I thought I was just hearing a performance. It wasn't a karaoke thing, it was an actual band, like a picture of the band behind you with what you were doing. So I thought you did a great job. Thank you. I also thought it was the perfect choice for you. Love your overall style. And you just seemed like a natural on stage, just complete natural, so keep that up. Thank you very much. As Frank Sinatra would say, don't get in the way of the song, you were the song. Very well done. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Mike. All right, guys, we're gonna take another quick break. We'll be back after these messages. Right before I get high. Hey, I'm Nico. I live in Portland. I uh, heard about my uh, main idol and decided to come in and give it a shot. Um, I'm usually singing at Champions in Bitterford. Great crew, beautiful sound system, a lot of fun, huge sound selection. So when they asked me to come, I thought I'd do it. I don't know what song I'll probably sing tonight. I guess I'll be inspired last minute. Um, I tend to kind of go around R&B, pop, rock, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, sounds like it's gonna be a fun night.
Nico, I did. And I had a sneaking suspicion when you the stool came out. This was going to be powerful and central, and you did deliver oh, with that. You. So thank you for the dynamic control and everything. I appreciate that. Thank you. And I love your overall style and your heartfelt energy. Thank and you. again, you just seemed like a complete natural. So never stop singing. Thank you. Fantastic talent. Good, good diaphragm, good use of the voice. Maybe a little close to the mic sometimes with those big notes, but yeah. uh, very, very well done. Thank you. All right, thank you, judges. Thank you. Like I said before, we're having a great time here in studio. We have a special little treat for you. Local legend was walking by the audience uh, not audience, the studio, and we flagged him in. He's going to do a song for us tonight from Portland, Maine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the legend, Reggie Graff. Rock. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. So, yeah, so uh, thanks for having me. I'm going to sing a little song just to, I guess, ease us out into the night. Maybe, I don't know if there's going to be somebody else going to sing after me, but. Thanks very much for having me and looking forward to singing. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Send her roses just because if it's for you that she loves, let them play.
Hey, thank you, Reggie. Stay right here, all right? You know what? We want to thank you for coming in off the street. That was very generous of you. And we thought that it was only fair that the judges maybe give you a little score here, you know? Or, or, or feedback is fine. Fe all right, come on. It's not my feedback. No. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's give him what he... I, I heard there was a local legend, and that legend delivered. And I loved... The false, the, when you go to the falsetto, that's so sweet. It's one of my favorite things. I'm just standing in funk over here right now. We're just. Yes. Yeah, look at the jacket, though. Oh my God. Well, all yeah, I you can know. Say, here. You can Reggie, borrow it if you need. Reggie does it all. He hey. does it all. And he is one of my first clients. He used to hire all my actors for his commercials back. I mean, he was, when he was producing, I mean, I think you're always producing, well, but you just have so many talents. He would hire. Port City models and actors for his commercials. So thank you. In, that was back in 2001. Well, you, you should be in front of the camera. Oh. 2001. And I did do. Way back. Yeah, oh. I did do commercials for you too. Well, okay. myself. That's right. Well, you know, <laughs> bit much. <laughs> yeah. Local legends don't come around every day, and yep. this is a perfect example why. For a long time. Yes. God bless you, brother. Thanks, brother. Thumbs up, baby. Woo. Thank you, Reggie. Night two of Cut Week. I'd like to thank everyone for coming tonight. Our contestants, let's hear it. Our judges. Our local legends. We'd like to remind everybody to go and vote at portlandmedia.org forward slash vote, and you can stream this on pmcwatch.com. We'll be right back here. Next week, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Oh, and also, we're going to announce who's moving on Friday. Just go to the website, and you'll see who's moving on. Thanks for coming out tonight, everyone. I had a good time. I hope you did, too. We'll see you next Tuesday. Yay!